Hey, you guys, I hope you guys are doing good today. So make sure to go to lovelytea.net or amazon.com forward slash shops forward slash lovely tea for all your tea sipping needs. Thank you guys so much for the support and stay tuned for the video. Welcome to Lovely News Networks. So I have a story, and once again, it's coming from our first favorite state, Wretched Ass Florida, okay? So what's going down in Ratchet Florida is this. We have two young men. Um, they're 21 and 22 years old. They're avid PlayStation players, okay? So what happened is that basically their PlayStation 4 went missing. They had a third roommate, and they accused the third roommate of basically stealing the PlayStation. The roommate claimed that he didn't steal it. They ended up luring him back to their apartment. They had evicted him from two weeks ago they lured him back to the apartment he came and at that point they ended up stabbing this man to death okay so why they stabbed him to death they were sitting there trying to dismember his body and what happened is that their new roommate the new one who replaced the old roommate he ended up coming home early from his tinder date and his tinder date was in the car waiting okay so as he walks into this bloody scene he sees them he sees the dead body he sees blood all over the place he ends up running back to the car and he ends up calling the police this entire situation is a hot, bloody mess, okay? Y'all go ahead and check this out, and I'm going to come back with the rest of my commentary. County people accused of stabbing another man to death over a PlayStation will face a judge this afternoon. Deputies say 22-year-old Jake Malata and his roommate, 21-year-old Ian McClurg, stabbed a former roommate who they believe stole the game system. Channel 9's Johnny Fernandez is following developments from Seminole County. Chopper video from the Seminole County Sheriff's Office shows the arrest of 22-year-old Jake Bellotti near the 7-Eleven on O'Brien Road at 1792 Monday night. The Seminole County Sheriff says Bellotta and 21-year-old Ian McClurg are accused of stabbing their former roommate over a stolen PlayStation with a 7-inch knife. They lured him back there for revenge. He had been a resident with them for two weeks. He had been evicted by them two weeks. And it's believed that, that they believe that he committed a burglary two days ago. And, and the item that was taken was a PlayStation 4. The sheriff told us as a pair prepared to get rid of the body, their new roommate came home to the bloody scene with his Tinder date still in the car. We don't know why he's at the home, but it doesn't appear that he's there to stay because his date is still out in the car. The sheriff says this case reminds him of the infamous Deltona Xbox murders from 2004. Right before I walked down here, we were making the direct correlation to the Deltona case over these gaming systems and things that have little value uh, uh, definitely no association with, with the value of human life whatsoever. It is just absolutely bizarre. The two men are facing premeditated murder charges, and we did find out that 22-year-old Jake Bellotti, he was recently arrested in Connecticut, and deputies say that they are also looking into that case up north. All right, so you guys just saw the news clip. Like I said, this just makes no sense. And like that police officer was saying, it's really sad that people do not value human life. How do you feel like a PlayStation 4 being stolen that can be replaced? You can just go to the store and get another one. Yes, it might take you some time to resave up your money, but there's two of y'all. So y'all can go half on this PlayStation 4. How is the PlayStation 4 more valuable than the young man's life that you just took? I mean, this entire situation makes no sense whatsoever. And I'm just so glad that the third roommate was able to walk in on them and then he ran and caught the police because they could kill the old roommate. They could definitely kill him as well. So I'm glad that he's not out that situation. Florida, I'm going to need y'all to lock both these damn bootleg ass gamers up and throw away the damn key. This was so unnecessary and it makes no damn sense. But again, are we shocked that once again it took place in our first favorite state? Ratchet ass Florida. So anyways, y'all, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Let me know your thoughts on this entire ratchet situation concerning these two men. All right, deuces. Hey you guys, it's your girl T and I hope you really enjoyed that video. If you want to know more about my look of the day or if you want a way to contact me concerning advertisement and sponsorship deals, definitely feel free to click my description box. There's plenty of information in there. Please stay tuned for the next video. Talk to y'all later.